As of August 13th, 2023, there are currently 43 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Ethiopia's Erta Ale Volcano, which is only one of two shield volcanoes to be actively erupting within Africa. Erta Ale's center was once located below sea level, although this region is now buried beneath 2,000 feet thick of black basaltic rocks from lava flows. Erta Ale has been actively erupting since 1967, often effusively emitting lava through one of its sometimes two active lava lakes. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Costa Rica, one of the nation's most active volcanoes, Poas, produced its first eruption in 16 months. Meanwhile, in Italy, although Mount Etna is not actively erupting, it produced an unusual series of smoke rings providing a fascinating sight for the many who live nearby. And, in what is this week's top story, a significant earthquake storm began at the Chile Cerro Negro volcano centered on the border of Ecuador and Colombia, where more than 3,000 volcano tectonic earthquakes occurred in a single day. As the name implies, the Chile Cerro Negro volcano involves two separate stratovolcanoes, Cerro Negro to the west and Volcan Chile's 3.5 kilometers to the east. While these volcanoes have altogether not definitively erupted in a whopping 60,000 years, they still contain active hot springs which vent volcanic gases. But, more importantly, since the mid-2000s, a region centered 5 kilometers to the southeast of Volcan Chiles has been experiencing an on-and-off magmatic uplift cycle where the ground has risen by as much as 10.6 centimeters or 4.17 inches a year. One such uplift cycle is currently ongoing, which began in May of 2022, being caused by a moderate depth magmatic intrusion underneath this volcano. This activity has not only resulted in an increased emission of hydrogen sulfide gas at the volcano's hot springs, but also produced more than 176,000 volcano tectonic earthquakes since the year began. You might thus think that this complex was pretty close to an imminent eruption, Yet, in my opinion, an eruption is still pretty far off and unlikely to occur anytime soon, as this complex has a history of producing more than 100,000 earthquakes and singular earthquake swarms. Yet, something is quite noticeable. Since 2013, the frequency of earthquake swarms has increased, but these earthquake swarms have also gotten shorter in duration. Regardless, the most significant threat is not a volcanic eruption from Volcan Chiles, but rather the possibility that another magnitude 5 earthquake could be triggered by the magmatic intrusion, much like what occurred on July 25, 2022 when a magnitude 5.6 earthquake occurred. In Italy, while Mount Etna on the island of Sicily has not been erupting for several weeks, it still put on a show of sorts when its actively degassing vents repeatedly produced a series of so-called smoke rings. These rings were produced on several occasions between August 3rd and August 9th, sending a several hundred foot wide ring of rotating volcanic gases into the sky. Most of these rings were produced by Mount Etna's Boca Nuova crater and was made possible by a series of mostly circular vents this complex crater contains. These smoke rings are produced when rising volcanic gas gets compressed into a narrowing vent. A large bubble then develops, and significant water vapor which is present subsequently rushes out to escape, but is blocked by the gas bubble, causing the formation of a large ring. In Costa Rica, the Poes volcano erupted for its first time in 16 months when, on August 2nd and August 5th, separate small-volume phreatic eruptions ejected acidic lake water which had a pH close to zero and minor ash to a height of 100 meters. This event, which had either a volcanic explosivity index of a 0 or a 1, was surprisingly typical of this complex. As in the last century, Poes has produced more than 100 fairly unpredictable phreatic explosions, although what just occurred was on the very lower end of what is possible. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on August 12th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.